Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is overviewing and comparing the two most well-regarded Linux distributions out there today. These two Linux distributions are recommended by just about everybody, including probably the most well-respected person in the Linux community, PopOS and Manjaro. So PopOS and Manjaro are at the top in the Linux distribution space when it comes to overall community opinion and their dedicated user bases. To summarize, you cannot go wrong with either. With that said, let's deep dive into both of these. So what is Pop OS? Pop OS is an Ubuntu Debian based distribution designed by System76, a computer manufacturer that focuses on well-designed Linux machines. Pop OS was released in October of 2017 and since its release, they have optimized this distribution with a ton of great features, including easy GPU switching, their pop shop, and some of the best auto tiling window management around, and much, much more. So what is Manjaro? Manjaro is an Arch-based distribution that first launched in July of 2011. What the Manjaro team did is they got Manjaro and made the Arch base extremely user-friendly. Speaking of the team, unlike Pop, it's not backed by a larger company. It is built by an independent team of very talented developers from all around the world. So the big difference between these two Linux distributions is their backing OS's. Pop OS is based on Ubuntu, which is then based on Debian, and Manjaro is based on Arch, like we said. Now the primary difference between Arch and Debian is that Debian is user-friendly, and Arch has always been and shall always remain user-centric, meaning it's generally up to the user in Arch to manually install and configure just about everything through a terminal. Manjaro is essentially Arch without any of these hassles. So if both Pop OS and Manjaro are extremely user-friendly, where are the differences? First, update structure. Pop OS follows Ubuntu with their updates. They come out with a new release about every six months or so, and their regular releases have nine month support cycle, while their long term releases are supported for every five years. Now, Manjaro follows the rolling release model, where instead of needing to replace the entire operating system with a major system wide update, the core of the system can be constantly maintained and upgraded. Now, there are pros and cons to a system like this a pro being that you'll never need to run a full system upgrade and the latest software packages are always available. There is no need to resort to snaps or flat packs. However, this does not come without the potential cons. You will need to upgrade your system before installing any other applications. Otherwise, you could run into issues and being on the bleeding edge of development, this could result in more bugs and crashes depending on the software. Also, being that your system is constantly being updated, this could cause issues with you if bandwidth limitation is a concern. Now, speaking of software, this is another major difference you may want to consider, particularly the package managers. Pop OS has the Pop Shop, a beautiful interface borrowed from the elementary OS team. It is a great place to browse and manage applications. And if you hit the gear icon to the top right, it will open the Repo Man a super easy interface to manage your sources. Within the pop shop, you could download the Debian packages or dev files, or even flat packs if the particular software supports it. In the command line, you could expect to use apt or apt, just like you would with any Ubuntu based system. Now Manjaro uses an application called add remove software. It's not very creative when it comes to the naming, but it works beautifully. It's not as polished as the pop shop, but it gets the job done. There are actually significantly more options and settings available within this package manager, including both snap and flat pack support. You can also enable the AUR or the Arch user repository. Now this alone is why many people, including myself, like Arch based systems over their Debian counterparts. Now Pop OS has more officially supported packages than Manjaro, but with the AUR it gives you access to more than 11,000 community built packages. In an Ubuntu-based system, there will be packages that you need to manually install and update. The probability that those packages are in the AUR is incredibly high, making it extremely easy to download, build, and keep up to date. Now let's get into desktop environments. 
Pop OS ships with a custom version of GNOME or their Pop desktop that has many improvements and customizations over the GNOME base, including improved window tiling that automates window sizing and other configurations. Pop OS has also mastered the keyboard and its use within the desktop environment. It does this with powerful keyboard shortcuts that encourages a fluid user experience and max productivity. GNOME is your only option with Pop! OS out of the box, but you can always install other desktop environments. For the most part, this won't be an issue, but there may be times that there will be conflicting software. Also, other desktop environments may not look that great with some of the Pop-specific applications like the Pop Shop. Now, Manjaro supports a wide variety of desktop environments, and their flagship desktop environment is XFCE but they have officially supported versions of KDE, Plasma, Architect, and GNOME. In addition to this, they have community-driven distributions with almost every major desktop environment available today. Manjaro's desktop environments do not feature many customizations or additions to what would normally come with the selected desktop environment. The only way to directly compare their environments is to compare the GNOME variation of Manjaro with Pop! OS. Manjaro does feature a layout switcher and a much better extensions manager out of the box, giving the user a little bit more customization options, but I still believe that Pop! OS takes the W with their near-perfect optimization of the GNOME desktop environment. And the very last category that I'm going to be talking about today is gaming. Both of these are highly recommended and well-regarded to be beasts out of the box when it comes to this. Pop! OS famously has a dedicated ISO image with the non-free NVIDIA driver available, and Majaro just straight up comes with Steam installed. They are both great systems for gaming, and their performance isn't all that different, so no matter what you're going to go with, you're going to have a good time. The YouTube account Burrow Tech did a really good benchmarking video between these two distributions. Overall, Manjaro had a very slight advantage, but it did vary by title as well, so in general, they are very on par. In conclusion, both of these Linux distributions are absolutely fantastic. You can't go wrong with either of them. If you're somebody who wants the latest and greatest bleeding edge software, or you want access to those Arch repositories, uh, I would highly recommend Manjaro. Or even if you don't want to use GNOME, you might want to go with a Manjaro or a different distribution based on the desktop environment or built around the desktop environment of your preference. And with Manjaro, you may come into a couple more issues and bugs. So if you don't mind fixing things here and there and doing some troubleshooting, you're going to be more than fine. Now, as we said, Pop! OS uses Ubuntu's long-term support releases. So if you're looking for one of the best environments with a perfect GNOME shell out of the box, and you want that long-term support and compatibility, Pop! OS might be what you want to go for. And when it comes to issues, I haven't really had any with Pop! OS. It just simply works. There's nothing I can really say negative about it. Uh, personally, I use Manjaro KDE Edition on my primary uh, production machine, and I have Pop! OS installed on my uh, primary laptop that I do all my writing and all that on. So thank you so much for watching. Please check out a Linux playlist right there or there. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. It has all my Linux videos, tutorials, guides, tricks, everything. See you later.